Hello, welcome to the series of linear equations. A linear equation is an equation where the highest power or index of the unknown is 1. So we have mainly two types of linear equations. The first one is a linear equation with one variable. For example, we have x plus 2 equals 3. In this first equation here, we can see that the unknown variable is x here. So x is the value that is unknown. When we check the power of this x, we can see that this x is to the index of 1. So this is actually x raised to power 1. So because in this equation x plus 2 equals 3, the unknown, which is x, has an index of 1. Hence, this is a linear equation in one variable. If we go to this second equation here, we have an unknown. We have y at the top, at the numerator here, and we also have y at the denominator here. If we check the power of the first y, the power of the first y here is 1, and the power of the second y is also 1. Even though the 1 is not written, we are expected to know that the index there is 1. So because in this particular example, the highest power of the unknown is 1, hence, this equation is also linear. But we can see that we have only one unknown. So y, y. Even though the y is represented twice in this equation, a y is still a y. Hence, why this equation is linear in one variable. Same analysis can be done for this third example here. The unknown variable here is a. The unknown variable here is also a. So we have a, which means we have only one unknown variable. And when we check the power of this one unknown variable, we have one, one. Hence, this equation is also linear in one variable. As for linear in multiple variables, we have this example here w plus 5 equals z looking at this example here we have the first unknown value which is w the second unknown value which is z checking the power of these unknown variables we can see that the power of w here is 1 the index is 1 the index of z is also 1 hence this equation is linear but because we have more than one unknown variable namely w and z so we say this equation is linear in multiple variables another example of linear in multiple variable is this example we have here the first unknown variable is y the second one is x the third one is b the last one is a so we have y x b a all are unknown variables in this example and we can see that the highest power of each individual unknown variable is one so the power of y here is one the power of x here is 1, the power of b here is 1, the power of a is also 1. Hence, this equation is linear, but because we have more than one unknown variable, so we said linear in multiple variables. Looking at the third example here, y equals 10 plus 3x, which is an example of a common representation of equation of a line. So we can see that in this example, we have two variables. First variable is y, the second variable is x. We can see that the power of this y is 1 and we can also see that the power of this x here is 1 which means this equation is linear but because we have more than one unknown variable we say the equation is linear in multiple variables so our focus is to deal with equation that is linear in one variable once we are able to learn how to deal with an equation that is linear in one variable then we can apply the same knowledge into dealing with equations that are linear in multiple variables the calculation of the unknown value in a linear equation in one variable can be summarized into one particular goal the goal is to make the unknown variable stand alone the goal is to make the unknown variable stand alone and usually we make the unknown variable stand on the left side of the equation symbol so the goal of a linear equation is to make the unknown stand alone on the left side of the equation. You may also make it stand on the right side of the equation, but for beginners or perfecting the understanding of how to solve a linear equation with one variable, we stick our calculations with the goal of making the unknown variable stand alone on the left side of the equation. So the first part of this series, which is this current video that you're watching, the first part is the introduction of what a linear equation in one variable is, as we have explained a few minutes ago. The second part, which will be the next video, is 
collecting like terms or movement of values and when we get to that video we will explain more about that the third part of this series will be dealing with brackets and expansion so we will learn how to expand and how to deal with brackets in linear equations the next part of this series the part four is going to be fractions and cross multiplications so how do we perform fraction operation in a linear equation and what is the concept of cross multiplication and the last video of this mini series is radicals or square roots so how do we deal with square roots how do we deal with radicals we will learn that and that should complete these four videos should complete the basics of operating simple linear equations in one variable whatever we learn in these four videos here will serve as a mathematical foundation of dealing with other kind of linear equations of dealing with quadratic equations inequalities system of equations rectangular coordinates and many more aspects of simple algebra in mathematics so these videos will provide you basic foundation and knowledge to improve your calculations click the link in the description below to take you to the part two of this series see you in part two